in this session we are going to discuss a topic called chaining which is coming under the topic hashing see let us suppose consider this very example we are having eight records ranging from a to h and the respective h of k that is the hash addresses have been listed for all the eight records so we are going to store them in this particular array consisting of 11 such locations we did such problem earlier in the earlier video so this video is a continuation of the previous one please watch that one also so now you see a should be stored at the location 4 so so h of k of a is 4 so i'm putting a here now b should be stored at the location 4 but the fourth location is preoccupied so collision has taken place here we are taking the linear probing as the collision resolution technique so I shall go for 4 but it is occupied I shall linearly I shall search to the next free space let it be 5 so I am putting B here then I am getting C C is tending towards 5 but the fifth location of this array is preoccupied so due to the linear probing I can reach to the next free space at a location number 6 so C will be stored here then D will be pointing towards 4 occupied 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 so at the seventh place d can be stored then e at the fifth place occupied 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 due to the linear probing collision resolution technique linear probing i am getting the eighth location free so i am keeping e here i am keeping the record e here now f four occupied so i am uh, keeping this one at the ninth location now we are going for the g so G is pointing towards 6th location, occupied. So G will be stored here. Now I shall go for H, 8th location, occupied. So H will be stored here. In this way, the values have got stored. Okay. So that is not an issue. Now let us search for G. Let us search for G. I am expecting successful searching here. So I shall go to 6th location because this is a 6. I am going to the 6th location. It is not G. But see, C is having the H of K 5. So it is not G. But its H of K is 4. It is not G. Its H of K is 5. It is not G. But its H of 4 is H of K is 4. But it is G. So successful searching has been obtained. But unfortunately, whatever the nodes we have traversed, whatever the locations we have traversed, and whatever the records we have traversed and matched. They are not having the H of K 6. So here we are searching on those records whose H of K is not 6, either 4 or 5. So in case of, so this is the problem here. But in case of chaining, whenever I shall search for a certain node, then I may have to traverse with different record records, their respective key values. But I can ensure myself that all those records having the key and the respective H of K will remain the same with the H of K of the search record. So that is known as the chaining. That means if we apply this one, if we store these records in the form of chaining, it will be something like this. Look at here. So see, A will be at the fourth location, B will be at the four, H of K will be the four, D H of K is equal to four and F H of K is equal to four. You see, we have kept for this four, we have kept, we have kept all these records in a linked list format against four. So at first A will come. So A will be the first node from the fourth location. So pointer will be there. It will be in the form of linked list, you know. So that means at the first fourth location, I'll be getting A. Then B will come. Then B will be prepended to A, you know to insert one node at the end of a linked list that means you are supposed to traverse the entire list but if you go for the prepend if you go for the prepend that means if you insert that node at the beginning of the linked list you are having the constant time algorithm you need not to traverse the linked list all nodes you need not to traverse so that can easily be put at the head so that's why at first a was there then b came after B, D came, so it has got prepended, not appended, and then after that F came. So now that is the ultimate chain, 
and all these records are having the h of k is equal to 4. So from the fourth location of this list, we are having the starting address of this linked list and then I can traverse in this way. Now for e for 5, I am having c and then e. So c will be inserted, then e will be inserted. Inserted means prepended. So it will be having the linked list format this. Here I am writing 0, actually 0 or null. I, can, I could have written null here also. Okay, now for 6, I am having this g. And for 8 location, I am having this h. So I am getting this particular chaining. Now let us again search for g. So g is having the h of k 6. So I shall be coming to the 6th location. And have, here I am getting one starting address of a linked list. And re reaching to this particular node, at the info I am getting g. So using a single search, I can get a g. So that means this is a better compared to this. Because here I have to search for 1, 2, 3, 4. After fifth search, I shall get the G. So that is not the problem. The problem is that I was searching on those records whose H of K was not 6. So that is the main problem. So this is known as a chaining. In this way, this particular chaining has been implemented. In our next video, we shall, we shall construct this particular chain, chaining method on this particular example. Please watch the next video. That video will be also a continuation of this particular topic. Thanks for watching this one.